On a personal level, I completely share these views, but from the point of view of the public's health, these gatherings will increase the risk of transmission, and we should be ready for that. Not just the protests and participants Dr. Tom Inglesby is worried about right now. In a press briefing from the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health this afternoon, Inglesby told reporters he's worried Maryland is doing too much too fast. I've been on Governor Hogan's COVID advisory team and have been largely supportive of the actions taken until this week. But I don't agree with the decisions made yesterday to end limits on indoor large gatherings. Inglesby says opening up indoor activities over the next two Fridays, like restaurants and casinos, gyms and malls, raises the risk that coronavirus cases will spike. The doctor did not say if he voiced his concerns to decision makers like the governor, but did tell reporters an increase could come any time after a change in policy or a change in collective public behavior. What we worry about in this epidemic is kind of the compounding next generation, next generation of cases. So I would say probably four weeks uh, overall, we, we would see probably the larger manifestations if they are going to appear. We reached out to the governor's office and we got a response from spokesman Mike Ricci, who wrote to us, quote, we very much appreciate Dr. Inglesby's help and guidance. We continue to follow the safe, effective and gradual roadmap that he and a number of other public health experts helped us develop with public health protocols in place at every step. It is a cautious, data-driven approach, and as Dr. Inglesby notes, our key statewide health metrics continue to trend in a positive direction. And that's the end of the quote. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, thank you. And for the latest coronavirus statistics, information on what's reopening and to connect with resources, if you've been impacted by the pandemic, head to our website, WBALTV.com, or use our TV 11 mobile app. <laughs>